Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Web Thoughts. Today I am going to discuss minimum spanning tree, which is a very very important topic that comes under graph data structure. We will also discuss Kruskal's greedy algorithm with very easy and complete code example. So let's move ahead without wasting time. So as you can see, all the green part I have already covered in my previous videos. And I strongly recommend you to watch that. We have covered the concept of craft, its application, representation, implementation, traversal. And today we will discuss minimum spanning tree along with telecommunication example and Kruskal algorithm. Okay, so let's move ahead. So these all the parts that I have already discussed. Okay, so let's move ahead. Why minimum spanning tree is important. Okay, so while talking about graphs, it is beneficial to introduce the subject of a spanning tree. So actually what it is, a spanning tree is a subset of edges that connects all the nodes in a graph without cycle. Of course, it is completely possible to have many spanning trees with the same graph. For example, let's take a look at the, gra at the diagram. Okay, so you can see on the left hand side, the graph is started from 2, which is a node, 1, 3, 4, 5 and all. Okay. And on the right hand side, we started from 3, 1, 2. So there are different ways to cover all the nodes. Okay. So this is called the spanning tree. On the left hand side of the diagram, this is a spanning tree that consists of edges and the total weight is 40. Okay. This is an important point. And on the right hand side of the diagram, which is a another spanning tree and the total weight is 31. However, neither of the spanning tree is the minimum spanning tree of this graph. Why? Because minimum spanning tree is a spanning tree with the minimum cost from all spanning trees available in the graph. You can get the MS tree by replacing the edge 6 to 7 with 5 to 7. What we are talking about? edge which is 6 to 7 because it contains the weight 6 with an edge 5 to 7 that contains the edge of 5 definitely it is a cheaper one okay then the cost is equal to 30 then we will say we have achieved the minimum spanning tree it is also worth mentioning that the number of edges in the spanning tree is equal to the number of nodes minus 1 okay what I mean is we can see there are total number of nodes 8 and the number of edges in minimum spanning tree will be 7 which is actually 8 minus 1. Okay, so that's what I am talking about. Okay, so let's move ahead. Why minimum spanning tree is important? We have seen one thing. Now let's consider a scenario when you need to connect many buildings. Okay, just think about it is a simple example. You need to connect many buildings to a telecommunication cable. Of course, there are various possible connections such as from one building to another or we can use a hub as well. Okay, so what is more economical? Because environmental conditions can have serious impact on the cost of investment due to the necessity of crossing a road or even a river. So your task is to successfully connect all the buildings to the telecommunication table with the lowest possible cost okay which is very challenging so how should you design the connections to answer this question you just need to create a graph where nodes represent the connectors and edges indicate possible connections then you find the MST which is minimum spanning tree and that's all so you can see in this graph as we discussed earlier in previous screen if we use the 5 to 7 node then it will be minimum spanning tree with the least cost okay now the next question is how you can find the minimum spanning tree there are various approaches to solve this problem including application of Kruskal or print algorithm okay so our focus will be on Kruskal one so one of the algorithm for finding the minimum spanning tree was discovered by Kruskal. That's why we said it's a Kruskal MS3 greedy algorithm. Okay. And its operation is very easy to explain. The algorithm takes an edge with the minimum weight from the remaining ones and adds it to the minimum spanning tree only if adding it does not create a cycle. 
okay the algorithm stops when all nodes are connected that's it let's take a look at the diagram that represents the steps of finding the minimum spending tree using Kruskal algorithm okay in the very first step you can see we are considering an edge that have least weight okay which is one in the second step we are considering three okay and in the third step we are considering four so in the same way we are moving ahead and at the end we will reach the minimum spending tree so we started from three to one two four eight five six and all nodes so to avoid a cycle an edge is ignored and the algorithm chosen the right edge at the end number of edges in minimum spending tree is seven the number of nodes is equal to eight so it means that algorithm can stop operating and the mst is found okay very simple now let's take a look at the c sharp implementation that i am going to discuss today along with this presentation i know the best way to explain is through an example but i would like to give you a high level overview how we are going to implement it we will create a generic weighted bidirectional graph okay and to represent the graph we will use the important classes like weighted graph node Okay, definitely it will be containing some certain properties, certain operations that we can perform on the node and weighted edge. Okay, and when we talk about the edge, there will be a form in two part because if there is an edge, definitely it will be between one node to another that will act as a source or destination or you can see from or to. And there will be a one more property of weighted edge, which is actually weight and compare to can be there we can implement our own phenomena to calculate the edge weight okay and we are overriding the string dot to string method and the third class will be the weighted graph don't worry i will discuss all these things in practical implementation just after a few seconds so we will perform all the operations like adding and finding an edge or node and the most important method is minimum spanning tree truscal okay and there are many more so let's jump to the video studio to check all these steps practically this is my visual studio and i am using the same solution that i was using in my previous videos of this graph data structure series okay this is a very simple asp.net core web application and i am using this application just to write the output of the program to write to the console okay as you can see we have basic class generic graph program standard graph and other files that i have used in my previous implementation and don't worry about the piece of code every piece of code is available on my github repo and the link is given in the description of this video okay so as you can see in the bottom one weighted generic graph that i have created and all the important piece of code that i have already written i will explain what we have written in this class and why we have written in this class okay so let's start from this class which is a weighted graph node you can see we have different properties index value neighbors definitely a node can have multiple neighbors and weights okay and in the second part we can have add neighbors and remove neighbors as well i have commented the remove neighbors because have, we are not using the remove neighbor method in this implementation and the two is string overriding which is a lovely part of this implementation it explains uh, i mean at runtime what is the value of each node you know uh, with its neighbor so that looks really nice at runtime okay and if i talk about the weighted edge class it contains from two which is expected weight and we are also using the overriding of two string for this special class so that we can have the value at uh, runtime edge okay and at the last we are using the weighted graph here we are specifying the two variables directed or weighted okay so it's a boolean so we will specify when we will be creating the object of this and we are creating a constructor passing the value directed or weighted okay and then we are using the count property we will using the nodes definitely nodes will return all the nodes of associated with this graph that we will be creating okay and uh, then we are creating a one more class which is subset and it contains all the information all the rank of each node that it contains 
and we are also using the two string override method which is very simple don't worry if all these things are not clear i will show you by discussing the one complete cycle so you, it will be easy for you to understand how everything is working okay now we have addition of node addition of edge okay these are the very simple methods you can see we are getting the instance of node because we want to create node we are checking either if it is already exist or not and if it is not already exist we are simply adding a nodes object addition of node and updating the index of that each individual node if we go here update in indices you will see we are giving an increment in index value okay let's go back by pressing the control minus and we will return the node if we are calling addition of node very simple in, in the same way addition of edge definitely we will be having the information about from node to node and the weight that's what we require to create an edge correct after checking none of them is null so we will check either it is weighted or not or directed or not so if it is not directed it means it is a bidirectional graph so the same value that we are adding in from to to so it will also work in vice versa manner as well it's a bidirectional one very simple okay now after that we can also find the node as well either it is available in the graph or not very simple which is a very useful method we are not using the removal of node which is not required for this implementation okay that's why i have already commented one and yes we are using a two string method to uh, i mean it is a very helpful method which will be using for the representation of um, adjacency manner okay or you can say the adjacency list representation of this graph and after that you can see we are building the graph this is the very important method that we will, will be calling and here by hard coded we are passing okay this graph will be uh, bi-directional because we are passing is directed false and for is weighted variable we are giving the value true so it is a weighted bi-directional graph now we are creating eight nodes by calling the method of graph which is simply add node and it is returning weighted graph node okay after that we are specifying an edge okay so we have already seen how our graph will look like so accordingly we are passing the nodes node 1 node 2 and its weight accordingly okay so this method will create our graph and we will when and when we will call the two string method it will print the adjacency list of that graph okay now next part very important one we are moving so get edges it will provide all the information related to how many edges are there in the graph what is from value what is true value and what is the weight it is a very simple straightforward code we are looping through each node okay and after considering the parent node we are checking all its neighbor passing the indexes and collecting the information and just return the list of weighted edge okay now next is update indices we have already discussed after that uh, this is a commented one it is not required for this it but otherwise it's a weighted edge indexer and next which is get true okay this is another important method i will explain while we will be uh, showing the output of this program okay now at the end the union so union is doing nothing union is doing uh, for creating the rank rank at the end you can see initially there will be no rank of uh, either it is from section or to section because we never used throughout the program and same in the else part once a rank is given to uh, any of the node either it is a from or to which are ultimately a node then we will see next time whenever we will come if the rank, rank is greater than higher to to index definitely we will assign the from node into its parent node because uh, rank is really helpful to identify the node we are selecting it is the lowest weight okay now at the last it is a very very important method which which is minimum spanning tree crucial okay and we have already discussed all important parts so it is nothing it is very very easy so we are creating a list of edges so for that we will call the get edges method we have already seen how that works and after that we are calling the sort method so 
after calling the sort method we will get the sorted value okay of each edge we will get the sorted list of fitted edge and after that we are creating a queue with the help of sorted edges okay now you will be thinking what is the use of queue be with me so we now we are creating the array of subset and the number of elements is equal to the number of nodes we are calling the node sort count and when we are looping through each node so we are just initializing the parent property of each subset object okay very simple nothing we are doing more than this here and after that what we are doing here we are calling the list of weight list of fitted edge we have created it's a final result why we are saying final result because it will contain all the edges information according to the lowest weight that's what at the end we want okay so uh, initially we are checking either the result dot count less than equal to node dot count definitely initially result dot count will be zero so yes condition will be true then after that we will dequeue so it will give you the value from the queue from the top okay we will get the edge so from the edge we will be having from and to and if from is not equal to 2 then we will add into the result and at the end we will get the result okay so from here our solution will start so before running the solution I would like to explain one more point so to use this solution what you need to do the section that you want to run except that you have to comment every other section okay for example there are three things uh, graph using linked list and non-zero index based graph so I have commented every other section and using only the one that I really want to check okay very simple so we are checking the minimum spanning tree critical critique algorithm so I placed a breakpoint here let me run the solution very first time we are calling the build graph method if we go inside simply I will explain we are passing the false and true yes it is a bi-directional and the weighted graph we are creating the nodes if you will go there how we are adding the nodes first we are creating the instance of weighted graph node okay checking either that this node is already available or not there is no nodes available initially count is 7 okay but that node is not available okay let me come out from this I think 7 is already completed then we are adding a node update in indices we are giving the value to its index if we go here if we check nodes if we check nodes okay this is the beauty of uh, using the two string overriding of two string okay node value one with neighbor no one is here okay and return node so this node contains the value and all weights okay so that's how it is working now we are creating an edge between different different nodes with the respective weights so i am giving one example we have created source node we have created destination node we are checking either it is weighted or not directed or not and accordingly we are adding edges and if it is not directed it means it is bi-directional and uh, we have to assign the weight in both the direction okay okay let's come back here and after that what we are doing simply printing to the console okay it is a generic weighted by direction graph adjacency list implementation so we have called the print graph method as well if you will go there it is nothing it is just calling the two string method okay if i go there two string is nothing it is simply the adjacency list presentation that i have explained in my previous videos as well so i, I strongly recommend you to watch that okay so let's go back to complete uh, our implementation so let's move next spending tree algorithm so it's a very important method method one minimum spending tree crucial one let me press f11 so now i am in this very important method so here what we are doing we are calling get edges okay if we go here we are creating the list of edges iterating all the nodes okay every nodes contains from and to value first we are catching one node and then after put using all its neighbors and using the index to get all the neighbors because parent node will be same which will act as a root okay and then we are creating an edge okay in the same way it will work for all okay let me press f5 so we have completed this process let's come out and we will get the list of edges okay so we will see how many edges 22 edges are 
there or weighted edges are there for example 1 to 2 1 to 3 it contains 3 5 these are unordered list of weighted edges okay so we have total count is 20 and it started from 1 and okay so now we are calling the sort method okay which is supported because integer is also implementing the i comparable so we can call the sort method and at the end we will get in sorted order so now you will see see the weights one one three 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 so it is in increasing order okay and now we have the respected weighted edge from eight to five okay eight is our node source and five is the destination node okay in the same way five eight one two two one two four okay so now we have the sorted one okay after that we are creating a queue with the help of these sorted edges okay so our queue is ready now we are creating an array of subset and the its length will be the total number of nodes so which are eight so we will loop through each node and what we are doing nothing we are assigning each node to its parent okay then our subset final object will be ready let me place a breakpoint here hit f5 and press f9 again so my subset is ready it contains all the nodes initially rank is 0 parent 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay this is the value which is there and if you will see index that every node contains okay or you can say that every parent contains okay now we are creating a final result of object as i said earlier and here initially it is 0 and total node count is 8 8 minus 1 is 7 which is our uh, checkpoint only 7 nodes will be there in the final result because we have already discussed now we will dequeue one edge from the list of edges so we have one edge we have from node which is 8 we have two node which is 5 okay now you will see from node we are getting the root of that and then same thing we are performing for two node and we are getting the root of that if you go here press s f11 okay so in subset we have list all the list of values all the list of nodes you can say okay and the weighted graph node is the one okay node value five with neighbor this okay so it is checking parent node is five and the target node is five okay if the both are equal then we will simply return the subset parent okay which is five okay in the same way we will add all the edges which satisfy to this condition and we will also increase the rank as well okay because initially you will see the rank of each node in the subset array is zero but initially it will be zero this condition true and this else case you will see we are ascending the from into subset dot two dot index value okay earlier it was five now now it is eight okay and at the end you will see okay just give me a second so you will see the fifth index which is the fourth uh, or you can say the uh, the index is four the value parent is eight and the parent of uh, rank one is also eight and rank is assigned in the same way at the end every item will contains its rank as well okay press f5 and at the end we will be having the final result okay if we will click here we will see only seven nodes are here or you can see seven edges information is here which is eight one two five one seven eight and these all contains the minimum weights one three four five eight okay so that's what we want to achieve from here and we are writing to the response simply using the for each and performing it on the result of list of weighted edge okay if i press f5 so definitely we will see the expected result so here is the result you can see this is the adjacency list implementation and this is the minimum spanning tree which is a critical greedy algorithm okay and we can see the weighted edge 8 to 5 with weight 1 similarly 
we have the least uh, weighted edge and we are also connecting all the edges i hope you like this video let's go back to the presentation i hope it is clear now what i have explained so let's uh, move next we have seen so this is our final i have taken the reference from o'reilly which is a paid version i hope you like this video if you have any question any comment any suggestion leave into the comment box i will try to reply as soon as possible so i will see you in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe bye bye